School days look different from district to district across Missouri right now. Some go to school in person, others are learning online or maybe a hybrid of both. Our Missouri Chief Capital Bureau reporter Emily Manley spoke with the Commissioner of K-12 Education about the struggles this year. We kept thinking and, and that, that, that we'd see a little break in this virus, that maybe we would get a, a little bit of a hiatus and then prepare for a possible resurgence. No matter if you're a teacher, student, or administrator, school is different this year. What we're seeing um, at the department level, um, we no longer have employees who are saying things like, well, that's not really my job, or I'm not really an expert in that, or that, because everyone's jobs are shifting. Commissioner of the Department of Elementary and Secondary Education, Margie Van Dieven, says it's been an uphill battle for the education system. During a state Board of Education meeting Tuesday, one board member says attendance for online learning is spotty. You know, some of our Kansas City schools, high schools, are hovering around 50% attendance right now online. Attendance officers, those teachers, those who are making calls and trying to connect with parents and checking in on kids and uh, in some cases, as you mentioned, going door to door and knocking and trying to find these families and making sure they're enrolled somewhere or, or getting the assistance that they need. Besides attendance, Van Dieven says there's a constant need for PPE and cleaning supplies. The whole cleaning systems are vastly different today. Um, so making sure that you have enough money for that. Governor Parson announced Wednesday $61 million of CARES Act funding will go to DESE. Uh, really happy to say that that's going directly to our public schools and they'll have greater flexibility to use those funds. With Missouri as a local control state, Van Dieven says it was up to local school boards to decide if students would return to the classroom. While I see that as an advantage, it, it definitely creates challenges because it would be easy for me to make this global statement and Van Dieven says there's no one size fits all for the education system, but says it's time for students to be back to in person learning. I believe our kids are better off in classrooms when they're with their teachers. Now, school districts across the state of Missouri rely on attendance numbers for funding. And of course, that's a little difficult due to the pandemic this year. So the Board of Education decided to pass a new attendance rule, which means that now schools will be able to count attendance for online learning and also hybrid learning. And that will go through the end of this school year. Reporting live tonight for Missouri State Capitol Bureau in Jefferson City, I'm Emily Manley, Fox 2 News.